Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me for this one hour power yoga practice. My name is Tamara Maxim. I have a YouTube channel where I upload all of my yoga videos that I make on Facebook Live. So feel free to search up my name Tamara Maxim and you can find I think at least 75 or 83 yoga videos there for adults and kids that I've been making over the last couple of months. It's been a really fun process to do that and um, really want to keep the yoga community together and strong, united, keeping ourselves healthy and in good shape and sharing this positive energy. If you like music for your classes, you can uh, check me out also on Spotify under my account name, Tamara YZR. I have lots of playlists there that you can choose from. <laughs> Sometimes I have crazy little doggies in my videos like this one here. Tonight, our practice, or today our practice will focus on the idea of awareness. I think right now uh, there are plenty of opportunities and experiences that we're all having where we are recognizing the importance of self-awareness, how we present ourselves in the world, how we are with one another in the world, and how it is that we show up. So I invite you to take a nice tall seat and start to think about this idea of awareness. And in yoga we have uh, several different limbs and one of the limbs is Vajaya, self-study. And within that, that limb or that realm, it's about taking your awareness inward and looking at how you show up here on your mat, but also in the rest of the world. You can close your eyes if you like, sit up nice and tall, maybe on your shin bones like I'm doing, or on your seat, or maybe even onto a block. And also, if you have a strap for your practice tonight, feel free to grab a strap if you need it for binding. I don't have one uh, handy with me, but I'll see if I can get one as we move into the practice. Forgot about that till just now. Awareness. To be aware is to notice multiple aspects of any given situation. Awareness empowers you to walk consciously through the doorway of healthy choice. So as we're offered uh, choices, uh, in our life these days that maybe have been different than what we've been used to, I think it is important to bring in uh, more awareness of the imprint that our choices leave, the effect that our choices leave on others, um, particularly our own personal life, but then in the world around us, we can see that so many of the things that we've been doing affect other people and maybe not always in a positive way. So let's try to bring uh, awareness to how we can do things in a way that positively impacts others. And with that in mind, find a, an intention for your practice today. Maybe it's the word awareness. Maybe it's svadhyaya, self-study. Maybe it's something else that, that comes to your mind. But let that be an intention that is for the collective, for others. How would you like to share your energy so that it benefits the world around you? You can float your hands to your heart center, Anjali Mudra, and find a way to state that intention. It might be one word, it could be a phrase, maybe a mantra. Create your own personal sankalpa, your own personal statement. And let this plant the seed for this intention to flourish. We'll start our practice with one beautiful sound of own. Take a deep, clearing breath in through your nose. A full sigh out your mouth. Inhale for O. Another deep breath in. And a full breath out. Letting the awareness of your intention seep into your body. Giving yourself a focal point, an area of self-study, svadhyaya. And slowly bow your mind in toward the beautiful light of your own heart. And bringing your gaze back up through center as you blink open your eyes. And let's begin today in standing. So finding Tadasana at the top of your mat. I'm going to grab a strap. I have one close by. And feel free to improvise if you don't have blocks or a yoga strap at home. There are lots of different things that you can use that create the same idea. 
coming near the top edge of your mat, your feet can be hip distance, outer edges of your feet parallel, or bring your big toes to touch with a slight gap between your heels, possibly. Your inhale breath, sweep your arms up wide into the sky, Urdhva Hastasana, look up as you curl your tailbone towards your heels, get a little back bend. Exhale, fold forward, soften your knees, belly engaged, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. And as you exhale, fold again, Uttanasana. Keep your knees soft. Inhale, rise all the way up. Palms touch, look up, maybe arch back. Fold forward again, Uttanasana. Slowly warming up the spine. A few half sun salutations. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. We'll do one more. Curl the tailbone. Find awareness of your breath with each movement. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift to lengthen. Exhale to release. Inhale to rise. We'll stay standing. Arch back if you like. Awareness of hands coming to heart center. Samasthiti. Start to create a slight constriction in the back of your throat if you haven't already. Finding the ujjayi breath. And this breath allows you to take a longer, deeper inhalation and exhalation, but also creates a mindful sound that you can follow and weave in together with your intention. That idea of vinyasa, of carefully placing your body and your breath together, one stitch at a time, and with your intention, creates this beautiful experience of yoga. On your inhale breath, sweep your arms out wide, palms touch, look up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. As you exhale, plant your palms down. Step your right and left foot back. If you want to hop, you can. Finding Uttita Chaturanga Dandasana, high plank. Root the finger pads down. Rock forward more on your toes. Draw the belly in. See if you can dome up between the shoulder blades. Take one more inhale breath. Rock forward even more. And as you exhale, slowly lower all the way to the belly. You can always use your knees. Untuck your toes. Take your fingertips out wide off of your mat. Tip your elbows up toward the ceiling, palms are in line with your shoulders. On your inhale breath, lift your head and chest up, Viparita Bhujangasana, Exalted Cobra. As you exhale, right shoulder down to the mat, look over your left elbow. We'll do it again, other side, inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, left shoulder down, look over your right. One more time each way with your breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Root the feet, inhale, lift, exhale, twist. Inhale, come back through center, lift your heart, exhale to lower down. And slide your palms underneath your shoulders, one cobra, Ujjangasana. Lift the heart up, an option for back bending today. Exhale, lower. Tuck your toes, engage your legs, mid your kneecaps lift up, shoulders back. On your inhale breath, Rise back up to high plank pose. Take an exhale breath here. Take one more inhale. And as you exhale, draw the hips back and up. Adho Svanasana, downward dog. Take a couple of petals of your heels here. Might be your first downward dog of the day. If this is your first yoga practice, sway your hips side to side. Bring awareness to your hands. Spread your fingertips wide. Even weight through your finger pads, but a little more emphasis on the thumb and index finger. Well, we start to straighten the legs if you can. You can always keep the knees bent. And as you inhale, hips lift up. As you exhale, heels press down. Try to create space between the shoulders, rolling the eye of the elbows more forward. Take another deep breath in and a full breath out. Look forward to the top of your mat. Walk, step, or hop all the way forward. You can take small steps, big steps, one hop. Lengthen as you inhale. Release as you exhale. Inhale to rise, Urdhva Hastasana. Fold again, exhale, Uttanasana. Find that awareness of breath and movement. Lengthen, inhale, flat back. As you exhale, plant your palms either with left foot and right foot back or hop back. Exhale to lower, you can lower all the way to your belly or halfway to Chaturanga, just a 90 degree elbow bend. Roll over the toes, tops of the feet down, either cobra or press into the hands, straight arms, lift your thighs up off the mat as the heart reaches up for the ceiling, maybe look up. Either back bend, one more breath, 
Press the feet down, lift your heart. As you exhale, roll over your toes, high plank position. If you want an extra chaturanga here, halfway down and then push back up. Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Dog. And with this Downward Dog, we'll get a hip opening. So lift your right leg up to the sky, start to stack your right hip over your left, bend your knee, and let your foot drop behind you. Keep the shoulders square to the mat. See if you can squeeze your right buttock. Lift your knee a little higher. Take one more full round of breath here and let the exhale allow the foot to drop down. Inhale, straighten the leg, square your hip, and lower the right foot. Inhale, lift your left leg up, stack your hip, bend your knee, allow your left foot to drop to the right, and the right heel is pressing down. Square your shoulders to the mat, keep breathing, lift your left knee a little higher, let the right heel descend more. One more inhale breath, squeeze your left buttock, let the knee lengthen up toward the ceiling. Square your hip as you straighten your leg, lower your left foot down. Take one more full round of breath here as you exhale, heels descend down. Come high your toes, bend your knees a lot, look forward, walk, step or hop. When you get there, halfway lift, lengthen Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, release and fold Uttanasana. Inhale to rise, Urdhva Hastasana, lengthen your tailbone, palms touch as you reach up, hands to heart center, Samastitihi. And we'll do one more full round, one breath per movement, inhale, arch back, exhale, fold forward, inhale, lengthen, plant your palms, walk, step or hop back right to Chaturanga. And tuck your toes for a full back bend. Bhujangasana, Cobra, or Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, Upward Dog. Roll over the toes, draw the belly in. If you like, Chaturanga, extra push up. Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Dog. Deep breath in. And a long breath out. And let's add a little bit of a twist here. So walk your feet a little bit closer. Root strongly through your left finger pads. Be weight your right hand. And reach underneath you and cross to the outer left ankle, calf, or thigh. Twist underneath your left arm. Maybe you can even step on your right fingertips with your left heel. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Knees can be bent. Just one more. Inhale. Press into your left hand. Pull your hips back and up. Stay for your exhale. And let's switch sides. Spread your right fingertips. Press them into the mat. You weight your left hand, reach underneath your body for your right ankle, calf, thigh, whichever you can reach. Maybe you can even step onto the palm of your hand with your right heel. Twist and look underneath your arm. Take a full deep inhale and a full exhale. One more inhale. Press into the hand, lift the hips back and up. Stay for your exhalation. Come back to downward dog. One extra hip opener here. Cross your right ankle over your, sorry, cross your right ankle over your left thigh and pull the hips back and up as you bend your left knee, getting a little bit of pigeon pose here. Let the head drop down, hips pull back and up. Deep inhale and a long exhale. And then switch sides. Place your left ankle over your right knee, bend your knee, the right heel lifts up. Pull your hips back and up. Get that pigeon pose feeling in the left hip. Press into your hands, pull the hips away from your hands, deep breath in, and a long breath out. Then release back to downward dog for a full round of breath. And come high on your toes, stay with that ujjayi breath, bend your knees, look forward. Walk, step, or hop all the way. Lengthen as you inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release and fold. Inhale to rise all the way up. Urdhva Hastasana, lengthen the tailbone, palms touch, arch back, hands to heart center, samastitihi. Make sure your big toes are touching, heels slightly apart, working through some variations of Surya Namaskar B to warm up even more and get engagement through the core. Take an inhale breath, sit your hips back and down, sweep your fingertips back behind you and see if you can hug the mat with your index finger. Keep your hands strong like a mitt. Curl the tailbone under. Feel the razor edge of your index finger pulling you back. 
At the same time, curl your tailbone toward your heels. Get that feeling of connection to Mula Bandha, the root lock, Uddiyana Bandha, the mid abdominal lock, and then sweep your arms up to the sky. Squeeze your inner thighs together, sit your hips back a little deeper. Keep the core strong, keep gazing forward. Take one more inhale, lift up a little higher. And as you exhale, lift your hips and fold. Ardha Uttanasana, Ujjayi breath in. Exhale, fold, Ujjayi breath out. Walk separate, hop back, Chaturanga. Take your breath in as you find your back bend. Shoulders back, chest lifts. Extra Chaturanga if you may. All the way back, downward dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale your right leg up to the sky, full stretch to reach it up. As you exhale, right knee to right upper arm. Pause here and hold, hug it in. Inhale, right leg lifts back up. Cross your right knee to your left upper arm, hug and hold it in. Inhale, right leg lifts all the way back and up. Exhale, bring your knee to your chest. Keep looking forward, come behind your back toes and step your right foot inside of your right thumb. Back heel spins down, rise up. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Outer right hip pulling back, left leg forward. Take a full inhale breath, reach your arms to the sky. Then deeper into your right knee. On your next inhale, reach your arms up a little higher. And as you exhale, sweep your hands back behind you. We'll do this a couple of times to get into the shoulders. Inhale, reach up. Open up, exhale, sweep the arms back behind you. One more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, sweep your arms back behind you. Let the hands come together, interlace. Drop the head down as you rest your right shoulder on your right thigh and lift your arms up and over your head. Bada Vyoga drops and bound, warrior, humble warrior. Maybe your shoulder comes a little lower. Squeeze the shoulder and knee together. Draw your outer right hip back, outer edge of your left foot pressing down, knuckles up toward the sky, let the head descend. A deep breath in, and a long breath out. And now as you press into your feet, rise all the way back up, reach for the sky. As you exhale, plant your palms down, step your left toes back, right leg floats back, chaturanga. Lean halfway down, bend your back bend. Have a nice stretch for the belly, Roll over the toes. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward dog. Full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, left leg lifts to the sky. Left knee to left upper arm, hug it in tight. Inhale, left leg sweeps to the sky. Cross to the right upper arm, hug it in tight. Inhale, left leg sweeps up. Bring your knee to your chest, keep coming forward. And step your left foot through. Back heel spins down. Virabhadrasana one. Outer left hip pulling back. Right thigh forward. Reach your arms to the sky. Curl the tailbone toward your front heel. Get some length through the, the lower back. Lift up and out of the pelvis. Take an inhale breath here. Reach up. As you exhale, sweep your arms back. Open up the shoulders. Inhale, reach up. Full extension. Exhale, keep warrior one in the leg. One more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, sweep those arms back and let the hands find each other. Take the opposite grip, interlace to the webbing. Let the shoulder relax. On the top of your left thigh, head comes down. Crown of the head down as the arms go up and pull your outer left hip back. Maybe you start to go a little deeper. Sometimes you might need a wider stance as well. The more you drop your head, the more space you'll create for your shoulders to open, arms come up higher toward the front of your mat with your palms. Deep breath in and a long breath out. One more, inhale, pull your left hip back. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, pull yourself all the way back up, reach for the sky. As you exhale, plant your palms down, right toes step back, left leg floats, chaturanga. Take your back bend as you inhale, cobra upward dog. Make your way back to downward dog, extra chaturanga here if you like. Take a full deep breath in and a full deep breath out. Another full inhale 
and stay for your exhale. On your inhale breath, lift your right leg up to the sky. Bring your right knee to your right upper arm. Chaturanga arms is hover. You push back up, sweep it back. Right leg floats down, other side. Inhale, left leg floats up. Left knee to left upper arm, chaturanga. Push back up, sweep it back up, and lower. Step your big toes together to touch. Come high on your toes, maybe walk your feet in just a little bit closer. Now keep that same core engagement that we have to bring the knee to the upper arm. Press into your finger pads, bend your knees, and take a couple of light hops, hips over top of your shoulders, and then hop right through. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift, release, fold, Uttanasana. Chair pose, we go again, hips to heels, reach your arms up to the sky. Bring your hands to heart center, take an inhale breath. Exhale, twist to your left side. Go over your right shoulder, uh, sorry, twist to your right side. <laughs> Look over your right shoulder, tend your fingertips. Pull your left hip and left knee back so you're creating evenness in the shin, in the knees and also the hips. If you like, you can open your wings for a breath, reach your right fingertips up, left down. Inhale, come back to chair. Exhale, twist to your left. Tent your fingertips, press into your, your top palm, into your bottom palm. Pull your right knee and right hip off. Maybe open your wings for a breath. Get evenness in the knees and the hips. One more inhale. Stay for your exhale. Come back through center, reach your arms to the sky. Lift your hips and fold. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift, lengthen. As you exhale, plant your palms, make your way back, Chaturanga. Find a back bend, Cobra or Upward Dog. Roll over the toes, make your way back. Adho Kashvanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, right leg lifts to the sky. This time, right knee to right upper arm, Chaturanga arms. Maybe extend your toes and float, Kundanyasana B. Inhale, right leg lifts. Cross to the left side. If you have Kundanyasana A, you can go for it. Or try to connect the knee to the upper arm, Chaturanga arms, and maybe float it up. Good, take it back. Awareness of where your body is in space. Knee to chest. Step through this time more in the center. Back heel spins down. Find front in the left hand if you need, or you're welcome to stay here. If you want to go for the strap, pick up the strap, put it in your left hand. Take your right fingertips down to a block of the mat if you like. The forearm can stay on the thigh. Left hand comes behind your lower back and close to your right hip if you can. Let the strap drop down. Try to sneak your right shoulder underneath your right thigh. And maybe you bind with the strap or the sock or whatever you're using. Maybe you can find your fingertips. Maybe even wrap your right fingers around your left wrist. And then from here, curl your right hip underneath you. Roll the inner left thigh open. Maybe look up. Bado Uchita Pasvokanasana. Bound, sliding, extended side angle pose. Big breath in and a long breath out. Looking down to the mat, release that strap. Rise all the way back up, deepen into your front knee. And now straighten your leg and heel toe your back foot in just a little bit. Hinge forward over your front thigh, pivot the arms. Reach your top arm up, bottom arm down. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. And if you like, sweep your top arm over your ear, pinky finger down, thumb up. Look underneath your shoulder as you roll it open. You can stay. You might even put a strap in your left hand. Bring it behind your lower back. Maybe you can find a bind to the right hip. Or maybe you bend that knee again. Find the same bind. And then start to straighten out the leg. So both legs straight. And if you need that strap, you can put it in your left hand. Try to create a little bit more space, turning the heart open. Breathe in. And breathe out. Soften your front knee, bring both hands to the mat. Step your left foot forward and point your toes to the top left corner of your mat. You can bring a block underneath your left hand if you need. It can be inside of your left 
of your right foot or outside. Pull your right hip back. Stay here or maybe your hand comes on the outside of your right foot. Start to turn and twist toward the right, finding Parita Trikonasana, Revolve Triangle. Reaching your right arm up to the sky, take a full deep inhale and a full exhale. Take two more breaths. Inhale, twist a little deeper. Exhale, get used to looking up. If it's hard for your neck, you can look down for breath and then back up. One more inhale and exhale. Both hands come down to the mat. Step, step back, find Chaturanga. Take an inhale breath, upward dog, cobra. Make your way back, downward dog. Take a full deep breath in and a full deep breath out. Inhale, left leg lift to the sky. Options for Kundanyasana, left knee to left upper arm. Try Chaturanga, maybe float it out. Inhale, all the way back up. You can go for Kundanyasana A if you have it. Give it a try, bend your elbows, try to hook the leg. Extend the left foot forward, right toes back, and then sweep it back up. Exhale, bring your knee to your chest. Step through in the center. Back heel spins down. You can bring that strap with you in your, it'll be your right uh, left hand for the beginning. Take an inhale breath, open up your chest. Bend deeply into that front knee. Take another inhale here. Exhale, go deeper. Viparita Virabhadrasana, exalted warrior. So you'll flip your left palm up. Lower your right hand down as you reach up and pull it back. You're welcome to stay here or capture the head with your hand. Turn your heart open, bend deeply. Maybe wrap your right hand back behind you and maybe you use the strap or maybe your fingertips can meet behind your heart. Turn it open. Find that awareness of the open heart pushing up toward the sky. Bend your left knee more. Take a full deep breath in and a full deep breath out. One more. Inhale and exhale. Open up your arms. Instead of dropping this drop, let's take it into our right hand if you need it. We can inhale breath. Reach forward over your front thigh. Left forearm to left thigh. Right arm reaches up maybe with the strap. Take your hand back behind you. Roll your shoulder open. You can stay here if this is enough. Or maybe take your left fingertips down to the mat or to a block. If you'd like to go for the full bind, you've got the strap there if you need it. Tuck your left shoulder underneath your left thigh and either find the strap, your fingertips, or maybe you can wrap your left fingertips around your right wrist. Keep hugging your outer left hip underneath you, inner right thigh open. Your, the outer edge of your back foot is a really good anchor here. Deep full breath in, and deep full breath out. Look down to the mat, slowly rise back up. Straighten your front leg, heel toe your back foot in just a little bit. Take an inhale breath, hinge forward over your front thigh. Find Trikonasana and you can keep again that strap into your right hand. You're welcome to stay here in Trikonasana. Maybe you take your top arm over your ear. Your left fingertips can be inside or outside of your left foot, maybe to a block. You want to go for the bind, soften your left knee. Start with that same bind, bring your right arm behind you, left arm underneath. Maybe you need the strap or you find your palm and then pull your left leg to straight. So have that awareness of your hamstring. You have to pull the femur right up into the hip socket as you turn your chest open and get that sensation of looking up. You can always look down for a breath or two if you need. Beautiful, we'll release. Bring both hands to the mat. Step your right foot forward and slightly to the right so your right toes are pointed at the top right corner of your mat. And maybe you bring a block inside of your left foot and place your hand there or maybe outside of your left foot. Maybe you don't need a block. Try to level your sacrum. So if it's not level, take a wider stance. Start to turn your chest toward the left as you pull your left hip back. And maybe reach your left arm up. Get that sensation of looking up to your top thumb. Look down if you need for a breath and then try and turn your gaze up. 
Beautiful. Get it coming out of your revolved triangle. Bring your palms down. You'll step, step back. Float it out. Chaturanga. Take your back bend. Make your way back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take an extra Chaturanga if you like. A full deep inhale. And a full exhale. You step your big toes together to touch again. Walk your feet just a little bit closer to your hands. This time, take your knees out wide, hips to heels, and give yourself a big squat here with your arms extended forward. So big opening for the hips. And then from here, straighten your legs, keeping your toes together. Come to a high plank pose. And do that a few times back and forth. Squat, high plank, toes touch. And you can stay doing this, getting into the hips, or if you want, let the feet lift up. Take a little frog hop. Get a little float. Try to keep your toes together. And then land at the front of your mat. Halfway lift as you lengthen. Look forward, flat back. Exhale to release. So let's come into chair pose again. Sit the hips down, reach your arms up. And this time with the weight into your right foot. Lift your left ankle up. Place it over top of your right thigh, finding half chair, Ardha Utkatasana. And sit down into your hips. So let the left hip open. You're welcome to bring hands to your heart. Maybe you lean forward. If you want to go for the arm balance here, you can. A Kapadagalabhasana. Or just focus on opening the hip and find a little cobra here. So lift your chest. Take a full inhale. And a full exhale. And stay in chair. Release your feet back together. This time lift your right ankle up. Place it over top of your left thigh and sit down into the chair, Ardha Utkatasana. Get into that right hip, open it up. Take a full deep breath in and a full deep breath out. One more, inhale and exhale. Back to chair, take an inhale breath. It's a deeper exhale and then stand all the way up, arch back. Hands to heart center, Samasthiti Hi. Bring your hands onto your hips and find one focal point here, your drishti. Easing slightly forward and up to lengthen the spine up, to really lift your posture. Your body goes where your eyes go. So looking down might cause you to fall down. So lift yourself up with your gaze. Bring your right knee in toward your chest and you can hang on to the front of the shin bone. You're also welcome to use a strap if you like. You want to secure that a little bit more or find a big toe lock. You can also put a strap around the ball of your foot. Stand up nice and tall and on your inhale breath, you'll extend your right leg forward, press out through your heel. From here, left arm up to the sky, pull your femur back into the hip socket and then open it up. Right foot to the right, left fingertips to the left. Now, as you stand up nice and tall, try to level your hips so you can keep lifting the foot higher. Maybe look over your left shoulder. Change your drishti. Look to the side, part of the drishti. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Come back through center. Let's come into a twist. Stand up nice and tall. Twist to the right. Maybe you slide your left hand to the outer right foot. You can kick it forward. Roll your outer right hip down. Maybe reach back. Maybe look back. Parvrita Utita Hasta Padangustasana, revolve hand to big toe. Breathe in, outer right hip pulling down. Breathe out, come back through center, reach your arms up to the sky, hold on to it. Awareness of your body. Hands to your heart, kick your right leg back. Variation of your Bhadrasana 3, roll your outer right hip down, press out through your heel. And then slowly step back and open up to the long edge of your mat. Take a full deep breath in and a full deep breath out. Bring your hands to your lower back again. Interlace your hands tight to the webbing. Lift your heart up, knuckles down. Exhale, fold forward. Outer edges of your feet parallel or slightly pigeon toe. Let the crown come down and the arms lift up. Create space in the shoulders. And then from here, release your hands, 
Feel free to take a strap into your left hand, bend your right knee enough to get your right shoulder under your thigh. Back of your right hand on your right hip, take your left hand behind and find a bind. Hold a strap or find maybe your fingertips or your right fingers around your left wrist. You know, straighten out your right leg the best you can and look out to the left. So this is very similar to that triangle bind, but both feet forward in Prasavita Parottanasana. Take a full deep breath in, take a full deep breath out. And back into that right knee, release the bind. Before we go to the, we'll do the other side. Before we go to the other side, turn your toes out to the corners of your mat and bend deeply into that right knee, sending your left heel out. Take your right fingertips out, open up your arm. Maybe you come for another bind. You don't usually need a strap for this one, but if you do, you can take it in your left hand. Left hand to the outer right hip. Maybe you tuck your fingers in between your thigh in your rib cage, or maybe you can find a bind with your fingers or your hand. And again, if you need that strap, use it. Open up your chest, hug your heels toward each other and look up. Variation of Skandasana, a bound Skandasana. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Beautiful, unwind. Come back through center, lift your heart. Halfway lift, lengthen, and as you exhale, turn to the front of your mat, lower your right knee down. Slide it as far back as you can, and then bring your hands on the inside of your front foot. Variation of lizard pose. You're welcome to stay here. This might be enough. Maybe hands are even on blocks. You can start to turn your left toes out to the left. Flex your foot so your knee and ankle are protected and roll to the outer blade of your left foot. Maybe you walk your hands forward, maybe you tend your fingertips, maybe come down onto the forearm. Get a nice opening for that left hip. And from here, we're gonna add on another bind and work into Kundanyasana B, but from the floor. So getting even deeper into the hips, more opening through the legs. Let put that left foot back on the floor. Slide your left shoulder underneath your left thigh. And this is in stages, in kramas, these intelligent levels. So feel free to do what works for you. Plant your palms down and lift your back knee up. And you're welcome to stay right here. This might be enough for you. Or slowly start to walk your right foot or your left foot more out to the left. So now you're resting the underside of your left knee on the shelf of your left tricep. You want to walk your hands a little bit more forward. So you can start to lean forward and bend the elbows like chaturanga. And maybe extend your left toes all the way forward out to the left. And maybe your right leg floats and holds here for three, two, one. And if you can, hop back. <laughs> chaturanga doesn't always look pretty, but if it does, wonderful. Upward facing dog, extra chaturanga, downward facing dog. Take a full deep inhale and a full exhale. Incline your toes, bend your knees a lot. Get a couple of light hops if you like. Nice strong arms and then land forward. You can always work at a wall. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, release. Inhale to rise all the way up. Hands to heart center, someone's TTT. Try the other side, standing nice and tall. Again, you can always use a strap to help you to get any kind of a bind or to bring the knee in a little closer to help you find your balance. The weight down into your right foot, lift your left knee up and toward your chest. You can hang on in front of the shin. Just to stabilize for a moment, you can always hold with a strap or even put it around the ball of your left foot. Maybe find Padangustasana grip and extending the foot forward. Reach your right arm up and pull the femur into the hip socket, the upper thigh bone. When you're ready, open it up. Left leg to the left, right arm to the right and try to level the hips. Even if you want to lift the leg higher, 
the foot higher, keep the hips in line. You find your drishti, turn it over your right shoulder. So awareness of where you are in space, your proprioception is so important here. You're not looking at your left foot, but it's active, pushing out at the same time, reaching out to the right. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Bring it back through center. Bend your knee into your chest and then take your arms up to the sky if you like. Twist to your left. You can stay here or wrap your right hand around the outer edge of your left foot. Maybe reach back and pull your outer left hip down toward the inner edge of your right ankle. Take a full breath in. Look back if you can. Full breath out. One more. Inhale. Active right uh, left foot. Exhale. Come back through center. Knee into the chest. Hands to heart center. Let's kick that left leg back. Variation of warrior three. Hold on to it. And then step all the way back and open up to the long edge of your mat. And I'll just turn this way so you can see. Bring your hands to your lower back, interlace your palms. Try to find the opposite grip if you can. So I always think of taking the natural grip. If you do that side first, do it that way first and then switch the grip. Let the knuckles come down, chest lift up. And as you exhale, fold forward. Variation of Kasarita Parottanasana. And just as we did before, in Bhadra Virabhadrasana, come a bound warrior. Let the head relax. Let the crown come down so the arms can lift up and over the head even more. Just wade into the outer edges of your feet. See if you can lift your hips a little higher. <laughs> Move cute puppies out of the way. <laughs> and release your arms underneath you. This time we'll turn our toes out to the corners of the mat. I'm just facing the front of my mat so you can see, but you'll be facing the left side of your mat. Bend deeply into your left knee. Press your right heel out. Skandasana. And then from here, you can take your left arm out to the left. Maybe reach your right arm up. Maybe you need a strap in your right hand. Bring it around. Maybe you can hook top of your left thigh or maybe reach back behind you. Hug your heels toward each other. See if you can twist and look up just a little bit more. Getting that sensation of looking up to the sides. Parsva Drishti. Urdhva Drishti is looking up. Parsva Drishti to the sides. So kind of a combination. Really bring awareness to how you're placing your vision right now. And release slowly. Come back up through center. We'll turn our toes to the top of the mat. Lower your back knee down. Slide it as far back as you can and then bring your hands on the inside of your front foot. Variation of lizard pose. And turn your right toes out to the right if you like. If you want to go further. Flex your foot and roll to the outer edge of your right ankle, or right foot, and you'll feel a deeper stretch into the right hip. Maybe you tend your fingertips and walk them forward. Maybe you come down onto the forearms. You're always welcome to add in variations here. We'll have a nice little stretch here. You're welcome to stay. But we'll work into building Kundanyasana B from the ground up. So it's a kind of a nice uh, way to get into the posture, step by step. And you'll bring your right foot back onto the mat, come back on, onto your hands, slide your right shoulder under the right thigh, and bring your hands out to the side, and you can pop your left leg up. And you're welcome to stay here. This might be enough for you. And maybe you come back down into lizard if you need. Or start to walk your hands a little closer to each other. So they're more underneath your shoulders and you'll walk your right foot more out to the right so that your right tricep is directly underneath your the underside of your right knee and your calf. And then from here, find Chaturanga. So lean into the elbows, extend your right foot out to the right and maybe it lifts and maybe your left toes lift. Hold for three, two, one, and if you can hop back. <laughs> Chaturanga, catch yourself there. Take a vinyasa. 
Move all the way back, downward dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. And from here, we'll hop through to our seat. Feel free to land on your bum with your legs straight as you can or cross-legged. <laughs> you know, I'm so used to hopping through with straight legs, it's hard to do cross-legged. I kind of wanted to try, try it again. <laughs> I want to kick my legs forward. <laughs> Too much hopping through with straight legs. Let's move the flesh around your seat from side to side. Take a moment just for a forward fold and then we're going to work into sundial and ustavakrasana. Fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Stretch your hamstrings. Exhale. Couple of deep breaths here. Really lengthening the back of your legs. Pressing out through your heels, toes curling towards you. And slowly rise back up. Bring your right knee in towards your chest. And pick up your right foot and you start to open up the hips. So left hand underneath the right foot. You can start to rock it side to side. Take your right arm out to the right. Rock all the way around the edges of your hip. And then from here, we're going to take that same idea of getting the shoulder underneath the thigh. So cup your right ankle with your right hand and see if you can bring your right knee on top of your, just the outer edge of your right shoulder. And you might not be there yet today, but you can get that sensation of it, even just letting the, the knee kind of bite down on your arm. And if you can, switch the grip and get your left hand on the outside of your right foot and get a nice bite there of your knee onto your shoulder and rock back and forth. And we'll go for sundial first or compass pose. And stay right here or start to tent your right fingertips more out to the right like we did for exalted cobra. Take an inhale breath here, rock forward. And as you exhale, extend that leg so you need the hip opening and look up and under your left arm as we've been doing. Kick out through your right heel, turn your chest up to the left, Parsva, Urdva Drishti, looking up and to the side. Big breath in and a big breath out. And then bend that right knee back again. Bring your hands on either side of your left thigh. Press out through your right heel, engage the core, lift your hips up if you can and maybe float your left leg. And if you can, cross the left over the right, chaturanga arms like kundanyasana, and let the feet come out to the right. Pull your legs as straight as you can, squeeze your right upper arm for three, two, one, and landing on your seat as if you've jumped through with your cross legs. Beautiful, and we'll take our vinyasa here, rock forward onto the hands, hop back, downward dog, take a vinyasa. Flush it out. And I'm going to try again to hop through to my seat with cross legs. You can try straight legs. <laughs> I'm not very good at the cross leg one. But just to get that sensation of when we come out of Ostava Krasana, we want to land back on our seat just like this. So let's give it a try on the other side. Hug your left knee in. Lift up your left foot. Start to rock your hip. And your shin bone. <laughs> Use the right hand on the base of your left foot and rock all the way around the hip. Hips are pretty open already. But if you need, you can always open them a little bit more. And then we'll get that same idea of that bind. So hooking the left ankle with your thumb and index finger, try to grip your knee over top of your shoulders. That same sensation of the bind that we've been doing. And you want, if you can, to hook your right hand on the outside of your left foot. Rock back and forth a few times. And you might not be very far here today, and it's okay if you don't get there. Just go as far as you can. If you like, take your left fingertips more out to the left, tent them like we did in Viparita Virabhadrasana. On your next inhale, rock forward a lot. Press out through your right heel. As you exhale, kick your left heel up toward the ceiling, look up and underneath your right arm like we've been doing, look up toward the right, Urdhva Parsva Drishti, deep breath in, open hip, 
hamstring stretching, deep breath out. One more, inhale, active through both feet. Stay for your exhale. And then come back into the bent knee. Bring your hands on either side of your right foot. So just like we do for Chaturanga, your elbows will start to bend. Flex both of your feet and see if you can lift your, right, your hips up and maybe your right heel up. And if you can, cross your ankles. Take your feet out to the left, chaturanga arms, just like we do for Kundanyasana. Hug your legs together, try to straighten them out, look to the left for three, two, one. And just like we land on our seat, try to come back onto your bum with straight legs. Okay, one more vinyasa, this time hopping through with straight legs. I like to teach that. <laughs> I'm so used to it. It's hard to hop through with bent knees. Let's give it a try, landing on your bum with your legs out in front after your vinyasa, if you took one. And then all the way down. And that float that we get at the end is that same idea of landing on our bum after Hastavakrasana. Beautiful work, everybody. Take the soles of your feet together, knees out wide. Hold on to the front of your ankles, lift your chest. And as you exhale, lean forward over the soles of the feet, maybe the crown touches down on your toes. Let the elbows press into the inner knees or thighs. Nice release there. Slowly rise back up, bring your knees together to touch. Bring your feet to the top of your mat. Take an inhale breath, reach forward, and as you exhale, slowly lower all the way down onto your spine. Hug your knees in toward your chest. Take a couple of back bends here, arms beside your body. Feel free to take supported bridge, sliding a block under your sacrum. Make sure you can tickle your heels, hands beside your feet. Feet are contained within the width of your hands. And your inhale breath, lifting your hips up, pressing the thighs forward toward the top of your mat. Kneecaps pressing forward. Interlace your hands again, just as we've been doing. Squeeze the shoulders tight together. Lift your hips a little higher. Inner knees, magnetic, pulling toward one another. Deep breath in. And a long breath out. And then release your hands. Take an inhale here. Exhale to lower down. Let your feet come wide, inner knees touch. Take an inhale breath here with your hands on your torso if you like, one over your heart, one over the abdomen. Come back to your intention, dedication if you made one today. Most importantly, come back to the breath. Awareness of your breath, how the breath travels in and out through the body, how it provides the energy for your practice how it keeps you calm. Second back bend, if you'd like to do another little bridge pose or supported bridge, you can. Or press your hands up toward the ceiling as if you're standing on your hands. Bend your elbows, hands beside your ears, fingertips pointing back toward your shoulders. If you're going for a little bridge pose, then your hands will be beside you. Both variations, lift your hips up. If you're coming for Urdhva Dhanurasana, press into your hands, pop up onto the crown of your head. For a little bridge pose, interlace your palms under your back. Urdhva Dhanurasana, press all the way up. Straighten your arms and legs. Let the head drop down so you're looking back in the direction of your heels. Let your inner knees draw magnetically toward each other. A few deep breaths here, stretching out the front of the body and the thighs. You're ready to come down. Come down slowly onto the crown. Come through bridge pose to come down. If you're in little bridge pose, release your hands. Slowly release the hips down. Soles of feet together, knees out wide. Sukha Baddha Konasana. Breathe into the space underneath your hands. Remind yourself that you're still here. Give yourself that awareness your breath. Slowly close your knees together. 
of your knees in towards your chest. Take your feet wide, toes pointing out, open up your arms in a cactus shape. Drop your knees to the right side and one final stretch for the IT band. You can place your right ankle on your outer left knee. Maybe walk your left foot more to the left. You can turn and gaze over your left shoulder. Slowly bring your left foot onto the mat so you have your right ankle cross over your left thigh and you can hug your left knee in towards you and then out to the left as you push your right knee away. So get a nice stretch for your right hip, a supine pigeon. Release that down to the mat. Again, take your feet wide. This time drop your knees to the left. Getting into the IT band, the outer right hip, place your left ankle over top of your right thigh, arms are cactus shape, turn your gaze to the right. Bringing your gaze back through center. Bring your right foot onto the floor, keeping the shape of your legs. Hug your right knee out and to the right, uh, to the right and <laughs> in toward your shoulder and to the right. You know what I mean. <laughs> Press your left knee away. So many things to say in yoga. So little time. <laughs> Give yourself a nice hip opening here. Releasing everything down. Tap your knees into your chest. If you want to extend your legs up to the ceiling. If you'd like to take a final inversion, you can stay here. Viparita Karani, Cloud Pose or Shoulder Stance. Or maybe even Shirshasana A, the traditional yoga headstand. I'll leave it up to you. Take about 10 to 15 breaths. I'll do a headstand. It's the favorite posture to end pretty much any yoga practice. When you're ready to come out of your inversion, if you're in a headstand, you're going to come down slowly, take child pose or just a seat for a few breaths. If you've been in plow or shoulder stance, you take a moment lying down onto your back. Maybe fish pose if you like that counter pose. And when you're ready, we'll all meet lying down on the back. If any last posture that you would like to do, you can do it. And make your way into your final rest for Shavasana. Bring full awareness to your body here. Take a full breath in and use that inhalation to scan all the way from your toes to the crown of your head, down to the tips of your fingers, through all of the seven energy centers. As you breathe out with full awareness, let your breath completely relax and soften you. Stay here as long as you like. Enjoy this time of relaxation, of softness. We'll end the practice with a chant for peace, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Free to join if you like.
Deep clearing breath in and out through the mouth to begin. Deep inhale to start. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. As we delve into a greater sense of self-awareness, may we be more aware of ourselves, not just here on the yoga mat, but out in the world. Let us be beacons of light and beacons of peace. Thank you so much for joining in this practice. Namaste.